Overthinking is an endless cycle. You feel anxious and then you get stressful because you know that you feel anxious. What makes you even more anxious? Thinking about overthinking ain't gonna cut it. But stoicism, well, that's why in this video I'm gonna share with you three key practices that will end your stresses. But I have to mention, this video is not for emotional or unfocused people, because if you cannot even concentrate for a 5 minute video, what's the point of learning stoicism at all? So if you cannot focus, just click away. But for those who stayed and that are confident in themselves, the first practice is accept what happens as a positive. You cannot change what already happened, like you do not go outside and say, oh shit it's raining, I won't be able to go to work today. No, you get adapted to the circumstances. Yes, it's raining, and so what? You cannot change it to make it sunny. Yes, you can cry about it, but what's the point? No matter what happened, accept it as a positive, because there is no 100% negative experiences. Everything has a positive side. Your girl left you for your friend? Okay, be happy, because it's impossible to steal your girl. It's only possible to steal your problems. Or you can even take it as a lesson that will make you improve yourself in the future. Never cry about anything that happened in your past. Take everything as a positive, because everything has a purpose, it has a reason. Because maybe it will make you stronger in the future, because if it didn't happen, your life could have been worse. Okay, and the second practice that I want to mention is focus on what you can control. And again, coming back to our rainy example, do not focus on the rain, you cannot change it, but you can take an umbrella. Why focus on things that you cannot change? Why worry about something that you cannot control? And there is a very good example. Because people worry about something that they can't change, they become transgenders. There is a problem or an issue in their life that they must solve, but they do not focus on it. They focus on something they cannot control. And so, they are no longer men or women, they are some fucking hybrids. And after that, they only make their life worse, because now it's too late to change. Because when you obsess yourself, over something uncontrollable, you cannot change what is actually under your control. For example, if you are born skinny and you have bad genetics, okay, fine, do not worry about it, go and build yourself. You cannot change what is already given to you, but you can change the way you see it and the way you use your opportunities. And our third and the last practice that is very important is you must always say less than necessary. Another overthinking problem people have is they always worry about what they say. I have a simple rule for that. The less you say, the less the chance of embarrassment. So if you're unsure whether you have to say it or not, it's better to stay silent. Always analyze your words, because if you said something, it is impossible to undo it. That will decrease your overthinking. Because if you want to say something to a person, you can always do that later, but you cannot just take your words back if you already said them. And also, a lot of people have a misconception that it's always better to say more than be silent. Lies. This is a complete lie. Usually, it's exactly the opposite. The more you say, the more useless your words become to others. If there is a silence in your conversation, okay, let it be. Do not try to fill it with some stupid dumbass shit. But for example, if you want to try something new, new way of talking to others, try it on strangers. So if you fuck up and your new technique doesn't work out, you do not lose anything. So stop focusing on the past or something that you cannot control. Live in the present and enjoy every moment of your life. You may be dead by now, you may be full body paralyzed, or you may be doing child labor in the cobalt farms in Africa. But you're still here, able to walk, able to have an access to the internet. Be grateful for this fact and never forget to smile. Subscribe if you enjoyed and see you soon. Bye.